Oh, what is up guys, Mike Chimam here, and uh, welcome to episode 8 of my Gothic 3 playthrough. In this particular episode, we're gonna go towards the rebel camp. However, first, I have to take care of the cows for one of the rebels behind the farm. But uh, as soon as these um, cows run away, you're pretty much screwed because they do not respawn. Um, so if they run away make sure to keep your eye on where they are going to you know do not attack the chicken otherwise the slaves will attack not that it matters but mm, let me quick save here and uh, see if I can get all the cows So that cow went that direction. And there it is. I'm not quite sure how many cows I should kill, but I should kill all of them. I think there are about five. Got two now. Um, where is cow number three? Cow number four is up there. Chicken, you're in the way. Still, it can't go on like this. I could have told you that. There isn't much that could happen. Still, I don't think it all. There are two cows there, and one cow here. Right, so let me... Oh, there are three here. Ooh. Let me quick save again, so I don't have to redo. And let's take care of these cows. If anyone does any hitting around here, it will be me. Damn, he doesn't even have any gold. I lost track of the cows again. They were here, so I assume they went this way and then this way. You wouldn't happen to be one of the mercenaries, would you? What? Probably not. Otherwise, you'd have killed me, wouldn't you? Who are you? I'm Mason. I'm a rebel. I've surrounded the stockyard with my people. We're just waiting for the sign to attack. Surrounded? What are you talking about? We That's rebels are everywhere. You should know. Even if you can't always see us. Anyway, we control the whole valley here. Well, well. What in the world are you planning? First, we'll sort out the livestock. <laughs> just wait. It'll be fun. What livestock do you want to kill? Well, the fat cows in the stockyard. If the mercenaries don't have anything left to eat, they're bound to give up quickly. I see. I'll take care of the cows in the stockyard. What? Really? That would be fantastic. You'll see. The mercenaries will give up soon once the cattle are dead. We'll see. What about the pigs? They aren't so important. They don't give milk. I see. You are completely nuts, you know that? 
If you think it's easy to kill the cows, you'd better think again. Those bastards keep a closer eye on their animals than on their purses. Well, we'll see. But I only saw one cow getting past me, so... What happened to the other one? Oh, it's already here, okay. Now that cow walks in the direction. Just make sure that you're out of vision and then it will return. If I'm correctly. Where or where did it run to? Oh dear. That's what they get for gossiping. Oh, it's still running away. It's stuck there. Or not. <clears throat> Damn annoying cows. Let's see if teleporting to Montero works. I doubt that it will, but... It did? Good to know. So if you lost the cows, just teleport back to Montero. Alright, so that's been taken care of, so let's get my reward. The cows are dead. Satisfied? Very good. Now we'll just have to wait until we get the sign. Well, have fun. Hey, don't you want your reward? Here's a couple of gold coins. How generous, my friend. Thirty-four thousand. We're getting there slowly but efficiently. All right, so let's go to the farm up there, the grain farm, and uh, get the message. Or shall I say, the messenger to uh, Okara. I suppose that was it over here, no chests anymore, no plants, no nothing. Mm, nope, alright, grain farm it is guys. to save often during the uh, trip with Rufus to Okara because there are lots of wolves in between. It's 
all we need. Run. I'll follow you. What? Now? Yes, damn it. Run. I don't know if you're right about that. Holy crap! What kind of ingenious plan was that? Run, he said. And like an idiot, I did, too. It worked. You are utterly insane. That's enough of that. You want to go to Okara, don't you? Yes, but I'll never make it alone. Okara is awfully far away, and the area is full of dangerous beasts. The mercenaries at the grain farm have other worries. You lunatic! I don't understand. I'll accompany you to Okara. Run. What? Now? Say, are you trying to mess with me? Run already, you idiot. I would act, act it exactly the same. Now this can become quite a challenge. There must be a nest of somewhere. Well done. Take that! Rotten beast. No need to worry, Rufus. I can handle it. Now, whatever you do, do not attack all the wolves because one, either you will die or two, Rufus will die. Just so go straight towards Okara as soon as you pass that little bridge. This idiot runs just in between the, all the ranks of the wolves. Don't look back, Rufus. Just keep on running, man. Alright, so that was su successful. I'm gonna... Let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna... As soon as I find uh, the Hunters, you know... Um, not quite sure what the names were, but I have to find them and get them for Okara. Um, I will learn a bit about hunting. Because uh, I needed to learn how to take horns to deliver one of these hunters shadow beast horns. Thank Enos. We made it. All right. You can relax now. Thank you, friend. I will never forget this. Thanks are nice. Rewards are better. Hmm. You can have everything I still own. Here, take it all. This is Okara. Yes, this is it. 15 gold pieces. Whew. I feel like a rich man.
probably do it yourself. I know, man. I know. You better stay out of it. Let's talk with the Smith. A new face. Welcome to Okara. We can use every man here. You're a blacksmith? Smith, cook, prospector, and heaven knows what else. The fewer people we have, the more tasks I need to take over. I need weapons. Hmm. This here is the largest rebel weapons forge in the Midlands. I could certainly sell you something. You need more people? Yes, we do. Badly. Lately, our leader, Roland, has been using up all of our reserves. We can use everyone we can get. Where can I find your leader? Go down into the mine. His cave is down there. I'll get some more people for you. If you know any free humans who would agree to fight for the king, bring them here. Look around Okara and on the farms of Montera. I'm sure there must be some lost souls out there who would agree to come here. Rufus the farmer has a message for you. Very good. He's probably bringing news from Montera. Thanks for getting him here safely, friend. Show me your weapons. Mm, yeah, I can miss 400 gold. Um, let's get this. Some problem solving fellas. Alright, so let's forge. Um, and... Because forged weapons will do more uh, damage. <laughs> Alright, so let's talk with the leader inside this mine. Creeping around like a thief. I'm looting the plants, sir. You know, it saves me a bit of uh, looting animation. Oh, don't mind me, fellas. I'm just mining, you know. Why did you wake me? If you have gold or silver, bring it to me. I'll give you a good price for it. What are you doing here? I'm tending this iron mine here. In addition, I'm making sure that we don't sink into poverty despite the difficult situation. I take from the rich and give to the men here. I see. You're a thief and you steal for the rebels. Before the war, I was a simple farmer in Geldern. 
Today, I collect artifacts. Well, war changes many things. Tell me more about artifacts. These days, the relics of the Ancient Ones have increased tremendously in value. Some of them are even said to possess magical abilities. The divine artifacts seem to be the most valuable. They say that the last patrol out of Monterra found one of those things. What is there to be had in Gildur? I haven't been there in a long time, but there's bound to be a couple of fine artifacts lying around. Supposedly, even the helmet of the first paladin is in Geldern. Where can I find your boss? The paladin Roland is sitting in that cave over there. Teach me something about thievery. No, not yet. I first need to learn a bit about hunting so I can learn how to take trophies like claws, um, teeth, and horns. Where is this divine artifact now? Roland sent a reconnaissance patrol to Gotha. They had the artifact with them. The leader of the patrol thought it would help them in the fight. Ask Roland. He can tell you more about it. How many pickaxes do I in total have right now? Eleven. I heard that a new man entered our camp. It is said that he shows promise. Hmm. I see they do not exaggerate. Are you in charge here? I hold Okara together as best I can. It is hellish. Especially since we have already lost more than half our men. What happened to your men? Montera has decimated us. Since the siege by the orcs, we reconnoiter the city. Up to now, the orcs have discovered and destroyed almost all of our outposts. I have sent any men I could spare to find a way to the capital, Vengard. Are you a former paladin? Yes, I was a warrior of the king. Like all my comrades in arms in Gotha, our arrogance was as great as our ignominious defeat at the hands of the orcs. Nevertheless, I still wear my armor with pride. Tell me more about Gotha. Gotha lies in the east, between Faring and Montera. Once it was the headquarters of the paladins of the land, until it was overrun by the orcs. Today, the dead roam the streets of Gotha. The orc shamans laid a terrible curse on the city. Why haven't you ever attacked Montera? I am afraid we simply waited too long for the opportune moment. What is your plan? We need to contact the king. In order to stay out of the hands of the orcs, he has barricaded himself in the keep of Vengard, the capital. I do not know what Robar is planning. We need a teleporter stone from Gotha in order to find out. The stone takes one directly into the king's capital. Where are the people you sent to find a way to Vengard now? I sent them to Gotha. I believe that was the most foolish thing I have ever done. Would you teach me how to fight? He also can't learn me shit. Let's conquer Montera. Ha! <sighs> we would not survive a frontal assault, my friend. With these few people, we wouldn't even get through the outer ring of the city. You must find another way to drive the orcs from Montera. What sort of curse is on Gotha? At first, the battle for Gotha went in our favor, until the orc shamans conjured up that miserable demon. That spawn of hell swept through the streets of Gotha. The monster transformed every honest human into a soulless creature. It was as though hell itself fell upon us. All we could do was flee. Gotha has been lost to us forever. I will take care of Gotha. Don't be a fool. The demon is certainly still there. You had better stay away from him. Show me your goods. Mm, you got arrows, that's good. Mm. Alright, so let's get ourselves some potions.
Here it says something about alchemy. I don't have enough experience. Right, so let's get some people for this rebel camp. Now there are quite a few. One is is a fire mage, another one it will be a paladin I think. Or was it a heavy armor mercenary? I'm not quite sure. But let me adjust my uh where is it? Okara. There it is. Let's put it down to zero. And let's get some recruitment re recruitment. Oh, there are two hunters in the forest over there. First I will get one of the uh, rebels that is sitting in the forest as well as one of the fire mages. The fire mages are quite near Montera. find the best way towards that rebel he should be around here somewhere I know he was quite near. Here he is. Hey stranger, have you got some decent booze for a miner down on his luck? I want to drink myself into oblivion. Who are you? I'm a homeless miner. My name is Owen. I lost everything that was near and dear to me in the war. I'm waiting for an orc patrol to scoop me up and send me to work in the mines. Here you go. A bottle of booze. Thanks, man. That's just what I need right now. I have a better idea than handing you over to the orcs. Yeah? Uh, let's hear it then. Join the rebels. Okara isn't far from here. Okara? Yeah, I know where that is. It's an old iron mine, but I always thought it was blocked up. Okara's mine is still being worked. Well, <laughs> what am I doing sitting around here then? I'll give you this healing potion as thanks. I don't like this stuff anyway. That's one. Alright, so let's get the uh, fire madoshi.
no chests here. The fire mage is inside this cave over here. Now be prepared because you will have to fight a couple of undead here. I think it was about 5 to 10 zombies and skeletons, I'm not quite sure. But uh, be prepared nevertheless. Now the undead will only spawn if you talk with the mage, so I'm gonna use that advantage to first loot everything before I will talk with him, so I don't have to bother with that afterwards. Broken. 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 Psst. Are you crazy? Don't be so loud. Do you want to wake the dead? Since when does a little noise wake the dead? Well, normally it doesn't. <laughs> Let's put it this way. I was experimenting with a bit of ancient magic. Really? Yes, and I'm afraid I rather lost control of the whole thing. And now I'm trapped in this cave. You're a former fire mage? Yes, I used to be. Just like the others of my rank. But without our rune magic, we are nothing more than shadows of our former selves these days. I must take an important discovery I made in this cave to the monastery in Nordmar. Tell me, what have you done? I have assimilated the dark magical arts of the Ancient Ones. I wanted to learn to summon the undead. And I have almost achieved my goal. Except for one small detail. What went wrong with your experiment? I allowed myself to become involved with the spawn of hell. And now, I am a part of them. I am now a prisoner of my own folly. If I attempt to leave this cave, the dead will stop me. The rebels in Okara could use your help. The royalists need me, you say? Hmm. Tell me about your discovery. It is a fire chalice. It is extremely important that it be brought to my brethren in Lord Ma. But as you see, I have one or two small problems to deal with here first. Show me your goods. Mm, sadly, it doesn't have any kind of ancient tablets with knowledge of the ancient ones.
I'll get you out of here. <laughs> do you think you can do that? We'll see. Oh, all right. I will try. But you must cover my back, right? All right, so let's get out of here, old man. Run, old man. He knows preserve us. Here they come already. The zombies, they do quite a bit of damage. But I hate the unhanded zombies more. Mummies, I mean. Sorry. be a nest around here somewhere. <clears throat> Take that rotten beast. Oh, that were the undead. Your undead will no longer prevent anyone from doing anything. Oh, thank you, most we did it. I swear that I will never again make such a grave mistake. Thank you, stranger. Oh, take this from me. I will take your fire chalice to the monastery in Nordmar. Yes, here. Take the chalice. I am too weak to travel to the icy north. I hope that you are strong enough to do so. Not yet, but at some point. Teach me something about ancient magic. Let's see what he has. Light armor, star fighting. Proof staff and magical staves. Hmm. You aren't ready for that. Okay, uh, what about this one? I want to learn staff fighting. A staff is awfully long. You can use that to keep your opponents at bay. If you strike properly, almost no one will have a chance against you. You aren't ready for that. 
Now staff is going to be for all three paths since all three paths are going to be mage, uh, mage-ish and uh, mages wear staffs, you know. You aren't ready for that. Okay. Teach me something about alchemy. I want to brew mana potions. Ah, mana potions. Their power develops in their effect. They are a source of pure magic power. There are various recipes for these potions. So get yourself one. Find the necessary ingredients and go for it. How can I make fire arrows? Fire arrows do more damage than conventional arrows. It's actually quite simple. You need arrows and the necessary ingredients. Assemble them on an alchemist's bench. You aren't ready for that. Show me your goods. Let's see if he has uh, the... Nope. He doesn't have the recipe in order to make fire arrows. That's a shame. Okara isn't far from here. I have heard of it. I don't think you need to guide me. You have done enough for me. Don't worry. I will find Okara. Once again, thank you for your help. Enos be with you. Right, so let's teleport to Okara. Speaking of people, Rakus the Fire Mage wants to join you. Great. A mage is just what we need. We'll certainly give him a hearty welcome. Very well done, my friend. A prospector named Owen is quite eager to join you. Bring him here, then. Good work. Still no level up, though. Alright, so let's go to the Hunters. Mm. No, I will first take care of the um, <coughs> the mine part because I need, let's see, 110, 130. I need 110 hunting capabilities at the very least because uh, <coughs> I will get a quest from one of the hunters to get Shadow Beast horns. Which means I need to invest seven learning points, so I need two levels up, give it or take. That's quick safe. You look strong. You're just what I need. Looks like you're not all that puny yourself. I'm Randall. I'm a fighter and I want to join the rebels. I was on my way to Akara when I stumbled across this mine. What are your plans? Do you see that cave over there? It contains what must be the richest mine I have ever seen. Boy, you can find everything there. Gold, iron, sulfur. There's just one little problem. What sort of problem? The mine is full of beasts. That's why there isn't anyone else here plundering the mine. But if we join up, we could clean out the mine. What do you think? The rebels in Okara need strong men like you. Yeah, damn, I know that. You really think I would abandon the fat booty in this mine? You're out of your mind. Let's empty the mine. That's what I want to hear. Get ready and follow me. Alright, so this cave will have... 
about six mine crawlers, some of which will get buggy through the wall. But it has pretty much anything, iron, sulfur, magic ore, and I need the magic ore for one of the smiths in uh, Montera. If he uh, gives me the quest at some point at any rate. Because uh, that's a bug in this game, sometimes it's not working that well. Another one of those beasts! <laughs> There, so much for you, filthy beast. You asked for it. You there. So much for you, filthy beast. Well, did I promise too much? Just look at the size of those gold nuggets. Now what? You go and clear the rest of the mine, and I'll start plundering it. Let's first take care of these mine crawlers before I'm gonna start looting and mining. Alright, so let the plundering begin. Something 
Things will never change. Now this will take some time, you know, to actually loot the entire mine, but uh, it's gotta be well worth. Too hard. So this area is clear. We're nearly done here guys, nearly. The mine is clean. You mean there aren't any more beasts alive to bother us? Very good, boy. Now we can ransack the mine undisturbed. I'll give you 300 gold coins. Will you go to Okara now? All right, I'll go. In the meantime, you keep an eye on our mine. But when I come back, I don't want the whole mine plundered, got it? Sure. Like I would listen to that, your mind is mine.
do have the five magic ore, so I should be able to get that quest now. Not saying that it will, but you know, if it doesn't, then the game is bugged again. Which happens more often than not, especially with that particular quest. Final mine, and then we're gonna teleport again to Okara. Saves me walking, you know. Right, so let's talk with the smith again and uh, sleep till morning, and then we're gonna go and get the two hunters. You should probably do it yourself. Uh, man, what do you want? Oh, think about it. Man, what do you want? Speaking of people, I found a strong fighter for you, Randall. Wow, where did you dig him up? Good job, friend. Carry on like that. All right, so let's get the hunters. Which is the final two that I need, one of which will have me kill a couple of nasty shadow beasts and the other one wants to go a bit of wild boar hunting. And then we have one more, which is uh, surrounded by three ripper beasts. So if we get those then we're done with the episode for now, but let's first get them before, you know. I speak too soon. The two nasty shadow beasts. Their damage. Let's lure them to a car or use the environment. I totally forgot. Oh dear. I totally forgot to learn first how to remove horns. Hmm. Oh well. There would be plenty of shadow beasts. Maybe I can loot them afterwards. Who knows? Let's hope that's the case. Otherwise, I have to reload or something. Or find different shadow beast horns. But, uh. That was not small, a small, smart decision on my part. Sorry about that, guys.
Alright, so let's go and talk with the hunters. Still haven't level up yet, which is shame because I still need one level <coughs> to at least learn how to um, hunt properly. Hey, you've got courage running around here. Why would I need courage to come here? Well, because of all the nasty beasts in the vicinity. It takes quite a bit of nerve to move about here freely. What are you doing here? I'm a hunter. I'm after wild boars. The rebels in Okara could really use someone like you. <laughs> I would imagine so. Well, we'll see. Maybe I'll go there and have a look at Okara from the inside. Let's go boar hunting. Just like I said. You've got nerve, but all right. You asked for it. Follow me. I know where some of them are. Tap wasn't responding, so I pressed tap again and I closed the uh, the inventory. So first death has been reached, guys. Hardcore run attempt failed. Well, had to die at some point, you know. Oh well. You just don't. Ah! You're no great loss. Well, at least I leveled up. That's good. Right, friend. How's it going? Got all the boars. Those nasty wild boars are dead. Good thing. You know how to hunt profitably, do you? <laughs> Here, take this. That will make it even easier. Go to Okara, now. All right, since you insist. 
I'll go have a look at it. Gathering some experience can't hurt. See you around, kid. Don't bother me. Can't. Hmm. Wow. If he only knew what I have accomplished, he wouldn't have called me a kid. I defeated the sleeper, destroyed the barrier, and I killed the undead dragons and the dragons in the valley of mine, so... I'm no kid, I'm a hero. Well? Hunting too? What do you hunt? I've hunted everything there is to hunt in this country, stranger. But my specialty is shadow beasts. I really like their horns. Shadow beast hunting? I could tell you a thing or two about that. Really? Big talk, I'd say. There are two really nasty specimens near these ruins. Why don't you show me your hunting prowess? The rebels in Okara need people like you. Rebels in the iron mine? So that's where they're hiding. The boys are clever. I have to give them that. Why don't you work for the rebels from now on? Hmm. Not a bad idea. The nasty shadow beasts are dead. Well done. I'd say you've really got what it takes. Will you sell me the beast's horns? Teach me something about hunting. Oh, so it's any Shadow Beast horn, okay. Carry on. <clears throat> How much did I need it? Show me how to extract nice. teeth, claws, and horns from beasts. Above all, you have to make sure that the stuff doesn't splinter. Jam your knife deep into the flesh and uncover the trophy. Once you're in deep enough, lever it out. You aren't ready for that. Good. Good. Carry on. Good. Show me your goods. When do you have some arrows? You do have teeth, I need those. Go to Okara. The boys need men like you. If you say so. All right, we'll meet there. And don't forget, you were going to sell me the horns, weren't you? If I get them, yes, I will. Let's see if I can still loot them. I doubt it, but... use of the environment. I was pretty sure it was somewhere around here. Can't loot them anymore. Was afraid of that, but that's alright. At least now I know how to uh, to get them, so I need to keep two shadow beast horns for uh, for that rebel guy before I will liberate that area. Um, now I need to get one more, and uh, that one is surrounded by wild ripper beasts.
Here they are. Now be careful, there are three of them. Uh, you know, I could use my uh, spell of Adanos to get past them, but I do need to kill them for the rebel. Four. distance have to find a spot where I can use the environment to my advantage. But the second death has a good That's two out of four. Power of the environment. That's a bow.
two more shots, I think. Yeah, one more. There we go. Alright, so let's go to the rebel and uh, get that over with as well. By Enos, you scared me. Damn it, how'd you get in here? You're rather jumpy for a warrior. Have you looked outside the cave? Those malicious ripper beasts run around up there like they own the place. I have no idea how you managed to get past those nasty brutes. The rebels in Okara need more people. So, why would that concern me? I want you to go to Okara. I'm curious to hear how you plan to persuade me. The malicious Ripper Beasts are history. What? They're dead? Sure looks like it. Well, I guess I'll have to thank you for this, huh? Here's my thanks. One hundred gold coins. Go to Okara, or I'll skin you alive. No, no. I know you would stop at nothing. I'll go, voluntarily. See you in Okara. Good man. Speaking of people, Frazier the Hunter will work for Okara from now on. We can always use more hunters. Thank you. Candela the Hunter will stay in Okara from now on. Very good. I hope he isn't the last man you find for us. I've got a new man for you. His name is Kent. Hmm. I know that yellow belly, but fine. Better than nothing. There's nobody left out there who will come to Okara. All right. Then we will have to make do with the people we've got. It'll all work out somehow. Thanks for your help. Tell me more about the Weapons Forge. This is where we make most of the weapons that the Rebels need to fight the Orcs. Our iron mine provides the raw materials we need. It's nothing like the magic ore mines of Nordmar, but still enough to make the Orcs take an interest. We need to be careful. Is there anything you need? Hmm, I still need some iron ore. About five pieces. Can you get it for me? Here you go. Five pieces of iron ore. Thanks. You've done enough for me now, my friend. Take this as a token of my gratitude. 2K, oh wow. Well, let's see, smithing... Um, 11. Let's invest it into strength. But uh, this area is done, guys. So uh, let's train my strength a bit. And then uh, it's about the end of this episode. Would you teach me how to fight? Carry on. Carry on. Show me your goods. Cloth I don't need. Uh, skins I don't need. The teeth I do need. Thanks.
why did you wake me? Show me your goods. Alright guys, so that's uh, about the end of this episode. Thank you all for watching and if you like what you see, feel free to comment, like or dislike, comment positive or negative and uh, make sure that if you do like it to subscribe and if you do hit the notification bell and uh, I hope to see you guys in the next episode where I will go to mm, Trellis and Gildan and Sildan and then Gotha Faring and afterwards I will go to Lago in the desert well that's a few episodes away from now so uh, thank you guys for watching and if you s if you like what you see you know thumbs up thumbs down comment like or dislike um, positive or negative comments and feel free to subscribe and if you do subscribe hit the notification bell and I will see you guys in the next episode so good day to you all and uh, see you next time